What's up everybody, it's your girl West T Sis and I'm back today with another video for personal bookings. You can email me West T Sis10 at gmail.com and we can figure out your personal situations from there. Alright y'all, so I'm here today with a collective reading just because I was, you know, bored. So I'm here. Let's see what's going on for my people for all 500 and I think 36 of you. Also, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, liking my shit, and commenting on my shit. And for y'all that's been here since, like, the first video, I love you so much. Thank you so much. I'm very appreciative. It's love to all of y'all. So, let's see. I already shoved my cards. I already blessed my cards. And I already blessed this reading. So, let's see what spirit wants you to know. Oh. The Nine of Cups just flew out. Can you Pisces Scorpio in reverse? Hmm. So, somebody could be feeling a little down. That's what I'm hearing. I've heard like down. Emotional, emotionally unfulfilled. Sorry for this nine of cups, please, spirit. Somebody mad because their hair not done. <laughs> I just picked that up. Somebody is upset because their hair not done. <laughs> Clear for this nine of cups, please, spirit. Somebody mad they ain't get their, uh, somebody canceled the appointment on them. Canceled the hair appointment on them. I'm, he I'm hearing a nail appointment, too. Clear for this nine of cups, please, spirit. Clear for nine of cups in reverse, please, spirit. Yeah, the empress. Yeah, this is a divine feminine. <laughs> so, divine feminine, you could be feeling down from uh, somebody canceling an appointment on you I'm here. It's not even about no relationship or nothing. Could be about a relationship, but if somebody had canceled the appointment on you, I'm feeling like... Oh, it is about a relationship. Okay. The four of wands just popped out. So, a divine feminine with this nine of cups... In reverse with this Empress card, a divine feminist is emotionally unfulfilled in a, I'm hearing a family, a home, a relationship, it, but it's like the relationship isn't going down south, I'm just hearing that you're just like, I'm picking up Aries, that you're just like, let me clarify this, hold on, clarify this Nine of Cups please, sir. clarify this Nine of Cups, why is divine feminine down? What's going on with Divine Feminine's home life relationship? Reference Nine of Cups. Yeah, the Two of Cups just flew out. So this is a soulmate, a twin flame I'm hearing. Huh. Someone is emotionally unfulfilled. I wonder why. Because it looks like the relationship is going well. Oh, okay. I'm, okay. So I pick up an energy where a divine feminine is emotionally unfulfilled because she's not in a relationship with with um their uh twin flame soulmate is what I'm hearing. I pick up an Aries Leo Sagittarius with this Empress card could be a Taurus I'm hearing. So a divine feminine is waiting for her divine counterpart. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So a divine feminine is waiting for a. Uh, her divine counterpart and they're not here yet and that shit pissing them off yeah with the six of swords in reverse because they haven't left a situation is what i'm hearing they could be in another relationship clear for the six of swords in reverse please spirit or you could take it as, as someone is um upset because they're emotionally unfulfilled and in, in the relationship take it how it resonates y'all with this ten of pentacles in reverse someone could be low on funds especially with the six of um swords in reverse gemini libra aquarius i'm picking up an energy where someone I'm picking up a codependent energy that if someone have, uh, I'm picking up this relationship is financially going downhill is what I'm hearing. Financially going downhill. Someone is spending too much money. Someone is with, withdrawing money is what I'm hearing. And with this line of cuts being in reverse cancer Pisces Scorpio, someone is emotional, not, I pick up a, this situation is standing. Yeah, the three of cups just flew out. I'm not going to take it because it fell on the floor, but that's just for future reference if that does pop up. I think another card fell too, but I don't see it. Hmm. So, yeah, if this relationship could be financially going downhill, but I pick up an energy where someone isn't happy in this relationship because I saw the three of cups. It could be because of a third party situation, taking how it resonates, but I just feel like it's because something is low on funds, low on money, is what I'm hearing. Maybe this is two people that are, yeah, with the King of Cups. So you got the Empress and the King of Cups out here. Clarify this King of Cups, please, Spirit. What's going on? What's happening right now? Okay. With the Eight of Cups. Hmm. I'm 
I'm sorry, y'all. It's with T Sis, and I'm back because I had to stop the video. My mom came in my room. Um, so what? What I was saying? What I was saying? Oh yeah, a situation was financially going down here with this six of, with with this ten of pentacles being in reverse and with this six of swords in reverse. Someone was not willing to leave a situation. I'm picking up, but with this king of cups and this eight of cups, there is a male energy here that is ready to leave this situation. Maybe this male energy is. I'm hearing pissing this empress off. This is what I'm hearing. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, take care of I pick it up a Pisces, strong Pisces. This um, this King of Cups is the cause of this Nine of Cups being in reverse is what I'm hearing. And this Ten of Pentacles is the cause of this Empress. That is what Spirit is telling me. A woman is spending too much in a... In a in a male energy, uh, divine feminine is probably spending too much. And the male energy is wanting to lead a situation because they're not fulfilling the Empress. Is what I'm picking up. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be dealing with a Taurus. Let's see. Let's pick up on this King of Cups. Let's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with this Eight of Cups. Clarify this King of Cups with this Eight of Cups, please, Spirit. Yeah, with this Ten of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person, this King of Cups energy, they have a burden being in this relationship is what I'm hearing. Take it how it resonates, y'all. Yeah, with the strength in reverse. This could be a Leo. I pick up a Cancer, a Pisces, and a Leo. Um, maybe an Aries. This person doesn't have the strength to be in this relationship with, no, with, with the lover's card. But this is a twin flame situation. Hmm. Give me a gypsy on why this person doesn't have the strength, please, spirit. This is a twin flame situation with conversation. This person could be communicating about you. This person, somebody, someone could be telling this person things about you as well, I'm hearing. I'm picking up like a, yeah, with the sidecar. I'm not going to take it because it fell on the floor. But give me another gypsy, please, spirit. I pick up some up energy where this King of Cups is willing to leave this situation because of what someone else has said about you, or because of what someone what someone else said. What so what you did? I'm hearing maybe a um. I'm hearing falling out. Maybe these this Empress and this King of Cups have fallen out with each other. Is what I'm hearing. This person, with this King of Cups, if they are willing to lead a situation with this Eight of Cups, this person, they can't seem to gather up the strength to lead a situation because this person knows that you are their twin flame with this Lover's card. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Yeah, with Wife. Wife just popped out, and it fell right on the arm, arm of my chair. It didn't, it didn't even fall on the floor. So, yeah, you could be married to this person. You could have been with this person for a while now. Yeah, with letter, this person has something to tell you. This person needs to tell you that they are not willing to be in this relationship no more. So, this person has become emotionally distant, is what I'm hearing. Emotionally distant. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I, another way I see this is that, take it how it resonates, y'all. This person could have a twin flame elsewhere. So you could be just be an empress, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could just be an empress to this person. This person just probably came into your life and y'all started a life together, but it, unfortunately it ended. And this person could have a twin flame elsewhere because we got room and sweet, sweet, sweetheart. So this person... I pick up your energy. Take care of resonates, y'all. I pick up your energy where this person, a uh, male energy, was married or in a committed relationship with an empress that was not their twin flame, but had the standards, the standards of being a twin flame. But this King of Cups has found their twin flame elsewhere with this lover's card. It could be a Gemini. Or with this strength card, it could be a Leo. Take care of resonates. This person, you could be this person's wife, yes. You could be... be you could be married to this person, could have been married to this person for a very long time, or committed to this person for a very long time. But this person has a twin flame elsewhere, and it's a burden on this person with the Ten of Wands because they already had started up, started up a life with you. I'm hearing 40 years old. I'm hearing like a 42 year old. I'm hearing like a 38 year old. Like this has been something that has been ongoing for some years now. But with this, because the Lover's card, clarifying the, the Lover's card, we got. 
Room and Sweetheart. This is my Divine Feminine card. This is also my Divine Feminine card. So I pick up an energy where there are two Divine Feminines out here. One is a twin flame and one is a soulmate. Take it how it resonates. But with this Ten of Wands, this King of Cups, they're, they're feeling bothersome, I'm hearing, because they have been in this, this relationship with the other Empress. I'm going to call her Empress Part 1 for a very long time. <coughs> Clarify this Lover's card, please, Spirit. Yeah, I pick up an energy with this person. This King of Cups wants to take this other Empress, this other Divine Feminine, out on a date with this Lover card. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with the Ace of Cups. Yeah, I can't make this shit up. We got the Ace of Swords. So this is this person's truth. This is the, this is their mental clarity. They know that this person is their twin of flame. We got the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Then we got the Queen of Cups matching the King of Cups in this section. Yeah. A, a, a male energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, has two women that are divine feminines. One is a twin flame and one is just a divine feminine soulmate. So one is a is a um a soulmate that was that wasn't assigned to this masculine over here. And the one that was assigned to this masculine is this Queen of Cups, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Mm-hmm. And then with the we got the six of pentacles. So this person, this person could be given to this person, could be given financially to this person. That's why this ten of pentacles could be in reverse up here. On this other divine from this side, because this person with this six of pentacles and this queen of cups could be given financially to this to this queen of cups. This king of, this king of cups could be given financially to this queen of cups. That's why this ten of pentacles is in reverse on the other divine from this side. I hope I said that clearly. I hope y'all understood that. So let's see. Clarify this queen of cups, please, spirit. Clarify this queen of cups. Yeah, with the world in reverse. This person, this Queen of Cups and this King of Cups, they have unfinished business is what I'm hearing with this world in reverse. These are two people that were assigned together. So these two people are going to come back together. So take this how it resonates, y'all. I'm hearing Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, strong Cancer, strong Pisces, um, strong Scorpio as well, strong Gemini, strong Leo. I'm picking up an energy where this person has a decision to make. So let's let's see um let's see the intentions for the empress that is already in the home. What is the outcome for the the page of pentacles? I'm picking up a Leo. Yeah, with the eight of pentacles. So these two people, oh wow. Y'all, the funniest shit just happened. So y'all know how I got the written messages on the back of my cards? So it, the Eight of Pentacles popped out, and then it flipped over like this. And it says, I'm not happy. So yeah, with this Page of Pentacles and this Eight of Pentacles, this person is still going to be giving and working on the situation with their life already because I picked up your energy where these two people, this King of Cups and the Empress Part 1, has been together for years now. They've been together for years now. So it's like they it's like this person feels they feel like they have no choice. This masculine energy feels like they have no choice but to give to this person and to continue to work on this home with this person. So now we just lost ten pentacles with the ten of pentacles in reverse. Then we came out with the eight of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. And that's yeah, that's the nine of pentacles. I always say that. <laughs> the eight of pentacles with the I was going to say Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. So that's nine pentacles. So it's just like this person is going to continue to give to this wife. I'm just going to call her wife, not even the um, divine counterpart. Their wife. That's their wife is what I'm hearing. What are the intentions for the wife, please, Spirit? That's what Spirit is telling me to say, wife. What are the intentions for the wife? Yeah, with the three cups. So if this is a third party situation, it's gonna to continue to be a third party situation because I thought I saw the three of cups earlier. Yes, I saw that earlier. What are the intentions for the wife, please, spirit? Yeah, with the King of Pentacles. Yeah. Can't make this shit up. So we got the King of Pentacles on their side. 
and we got the King of Cups on the on the Twin Flame side. So on the wife side, we got the financially stable person, right? We got this financially stable divine masculine. We got the divine masculine that's been married for a while and has been has had kids with this person, all that other shit, you know. We got that divine masculine. And then we got the divine masculine that's in love with their divine feminine with this sweetheart card. Mm hmm I pick up an energy where these are two divine feminines, but one is a twin flame and one is a soulmate. With this King of Pentacles, you know, the King of Pentacles, that's a married man. He's focused on work. He's determined. He's focused on his life. He has built his life from the ground up. So, yeah, these two people, this Empress, this wife, and this King of Pentacles have a foundation together. So, I want to see. What is the masculine energy going to do next, please, Spirit? I'm going to use my other deck. What is the masculine energy going to do next? How's the, the masculine energy going to get out this situation? The Ace of Swords with the Devil in reverse. So, I pick up energy, but this person is just going to... Spirit just said, bow down, bow down, bow down. Let's clarify this Devil card. Clarify this Devil card, please, Spirit. It says, please leave. With the Ten of Wands in reverse. Oh, okay, I get it now. <clears throat> so this person, this masculine energy, they're saying like, I can't leave her. She has to leave me first. That's what I'm. That's what I'm hearing. I can't leave her. She has to leave me first. So that's probably why. Remember that I said in the beginning that this this King of Cups was making this um, this Empress over here, this wife over here, feel feel emotionally unsatisfied on purpose i don't know if i said on purpose but yes yeah then we got constellation this person is getting advice from people because they they were having conversations this masculine energy were, were having conversations about this wife and now they're having constellations they're getting advice they're getting advice from people having conversations about this wife to other people yeah with priest it's like I'm picking up energy, but this person could be talking to God a lot. I'm picking up energy. Yeah. With Thief. This person, they have something. I'm thinking of a master plan. Oh, wow. <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> that was crazy. What the fuck? It happened out of nowhere. <laughs> okay. Was that a sign? I have no idea. I have no idea what the fuck that was. Um, okay. <laughs> what was I saying? That shit just threw me all off. <laughs> Alright. So, I was saying that this person wants, wants to come up with a master plan. So, with this devil in reverse... This person, they want to, I'm hearing a thief in the night. So this person might pack up their shit in the middle of the night and just leave out of nowhere. Or that someone is telling this person to do this. With this in the wands in reverse with this thief card, I pick up your energy with this person. is just like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to go out. I'm just going to leave. I'm not going to come back. I'm not going to pack no clothes. I'm not going to do none of that. That could be an issue. That could be an issue. Especially if this person is coming towards a divine counterpart. So, if this person is telling you, like, oh, I just left her, you know, no conversation, no nothing, that could be a fucking issue. Dude, I'm not saying don't take this person back, but be prepared for some karma, especially with this devil and this priest card. Because I pick up your energy where this is like um, a courthouse, a spiritual courthouse is what I'm hearing. So, if this person with this devil card just leaves in the middle of the night, that spiritual courthouse, that spiritual fucking uh, constellation... Yes, yes. So you see how in this constellation card, it looks like a fucking verdict. He's like, why did you give me 10 years or some shit like that? It's like the spiritual realm is going to come up with a punishment for that. So if this person just leaves this wife that they have been with for 
however fucking long, they just up and leave and go towards their divine counterpart, spirit gonna have some shit to say about that. So be careful about that. And with this Ace of Swords in reverse with this Constellation card, this person is getting a, advice to tell the truth to the to this um, wife is what I'm hearing. They're getting advice to say to on what to say. Like, how do you tell someone that you love someone else? Like, come on now. I just saw 15, 15. So I would be getting advice too, honestly. So if you are the twin flame, let's see what this person has to say about you. And this is only if you are the twin flame. If you know that you are the Gemini, the, the, the divine feminine, the original divine feminine. Let's see what this person has to say about you. It says, once I get you, I'm not letting you go. So, yeah, I do feel like this person wants to come towards you. I do feel like this... The, you and this person could already be talking the whole time is what I'm picking up. It says, I miss you. So, yeah, this person misses you. This person wants to be with you. I don't know. I mean, this person just wants to hold you. That's cute. Maybe you and this person used to cuddle. Yeah, this person wants to take you out on a date. It says a date with a question mark. Then it says I have a ring. So this person could want to marry you. This person could have a ring for you. I've been picking up a ring energy, actually. I've been picking up like people getting jewelry from their divine masculines. Yeah, it says faithfulness with journey. Mm -hmm. Like this person, they could be a dog. Yeah, they could be, but they, they're faithful towards this divine feminine. I don't feel like this person ever gave up gave up hope on this divine feminine. I just feel like that. I'm not saying chose the, chose the wrong person. I just feel like they chose the wrong feminine, I should say. Because I don't feel like this feminine has any negative. They're not a negative person. It's just like a relationship that died out is what I'm hearing. That's it. That's all. Not no negativity. It's just a relationship that had died out because they they someone else had another twin flame. This was not a assigned divine masculine, divine feminine. Yes, they're divine masculines and divine feminists, but they weren't assigned. So the assigned divine feminine is coming back to her assigned divine masculine. A assigned divine masculine is going back to their assigned divine feminine. So it's just like with this faithfulness and this journey card, this person is ready to go on this journey with their divine feminine. And I'm going to leave it on that note, y'all. It's your girl, West Tesis, and I love you lots, y'all. For personal bookings, email me at westtesis10 at gmail.com. We can figure out your personal situations from there. And bye. Love you lots.